Ladies and gentlemen, I find it a personal privilege to have here with me Director Robert Peters. This guy has been all over the place doing so much for the African film industry and of course very recently into Hollywood as well. He's pulling the strings on our behalf. That way all that we do will get out there as it's supposed to be. He's making a lot of corrections and that's why he's the executive, uh, actually vice president of the a African Actors and Actresses Guild. And tonight they have put together this program here at the Valley Bar and Bistro to talk to the world about what their intentions are. You're very welcome, sir. Thank you. I you find see, it an honor. When you get an introduction like that, that is very verbose and very big. You feel humble. Uh, well, that's what it is. You know, that's what it is. You know, uh, we're just trying in a very little way to take this thing to another level. Um, one of those people that believe that it can always be better. If I didn't think of that, I wouldn't leave Nigeria. Right. Yeah, because I, I had some good things going on for me in Nigeria. I was getting job as an actor. I had two soap operas that were very successful. Mm -hmm. I drove a BMW convertible, so <laughs> yeah, right. life was good, but I was crazy enough to come to America to uh, study film and try to change uh, the way things are being mm -hmm. done, try to maximize our potential mm -hmm. because it can't be better, believe me. The world is waiting for the African filmmaker. We we have market. I just came back from Hollywood. Apart from going to act, I met with some some studios that are ready to go into partnership with the African film filmmakers, with African filmmakers, sorry. It's, it's big. We have the second largest film a uh, viable market right, in the world right. we, we we individually if you count by pictures by titles i think we make the highest number of films in the world presently mm -hmm. and uh, yeah i know most of some of them are crappy i understand i right. share the same opinion with you but it can be better we, we've started we've started the, uh, the the cycle we can make it better all we just need to do is put more time create an environment where we can put more time mm. and more money into what we do and how can we do that by expanding the market and training our base which are the actors which is what today mm. is meant for mm -hmm. you understand he can be better you understand we have yeah. a market that is one billion strong there are 900 million people in africa if you include the island and we have the whole of the caribbean block mm -hmm. that's one billion we have a market that is one billion strong and all we just need to do is to honor organize and maximize mm. our potential and maximize this market and make this market mm. work for an average African filmmaker. Right. As soon as we can do that, we'll be at par with any filmmakers, right. any filmmaker in the world, you understand? Okay. We'll be able to throw the kind of budget we need into our production and create some a huge big production value that's what they do in that's what they do that's what they have in Hollywood it's called production value and it takes money and time now you're a director you're a filmmaker you are a cinematographer you do it all you write you produce you know uh, you're also an actor mm -hmm. now you know from this position that you're in right now what is it that you're looking to change you know we can go on and on all night about the flaws we're having and all the hiccups and the impediments we're having in the industry. But, you know, speaking from all these other areas that I've just mentioned, what do you expect from the actor or actress? What do you expect from your fellow director? What do you expect from your fellow cinematographer or producer or writer to make sure that what you're trying to push tonight is successful enough? First thing first, I'll answer your first question. What are you looking to change? The first thing I'm looking to change is that my next picture, I don't want to do so many things again. Mm -hmm. I, I want to take my time to direct, work with my actors, get mm -hmm. a cinematographer. I couldn't do that in the time past because uh, it's either of two things. It's either I settle for a cinematographer that I have to train for the scratch, which is a little bit difficult for the mm -hmm. kind of budget I, right. budget I use and time, or I step up the game and go pay a professional cinematographer that can do something mm -hmm. like I can do, the way I want it done, you understand? That's the reason why, but I'm beginning to get to that place, there's a project I'm starting mm -hmm. very soon of which you're part of it, I'll let you know as soon as we're ready. And, uh, and uh, by the way, Paul is a wonderful actor, brilliant, disciplined, you understand? And uh, I just... Uh, on that project, I'm going to have more people working with me behind the scene, 
going to have a cinematographer, I'm going to have an AD. Mm. So it's going to be a full scale production. Okay. And as soon as you begin to do that, you begin to see that the quality, no one person can do it all. No. You understand? I watch some of my films and I know I can do better if I have more people working with, with me behind right. the scene right. rather right. than just have two people work mm. with me. You understand? Two, three people work with me behind the scene. I can do better. Yeah. I tell you, I can do by far okay. better. And then what I expect from the, the like your second question, what do I expect from an actor? Let's let's put on let's put on our A game. Mm. Let's maximize our potential. Let's push off our limits. Mm. You understand? All those limits, things that limit us, they can be pushed off. Mm. Push off and let's try to come together and fight 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 for the market that we have presently because if we can sell this product we, we, we're going to stop producing in the near right. future which is what we're going to presently in Nollywood USA we have so many people that produce movies and those movies end on the day of premiere no. You understand, and as soon as after premiere, that's the end you of the. That's the end of this yeah. end. No you don't. You, you don't spend twenty to fifty thousand to make a movie just for one day premiere. Right. You understand, and why is this happening? Because you take it to New York to those guys that, the marketers. Mm. You spend sixty thousand to make a good movie. Some of them are good, very good. I know some of them are crap. I, I share the same opinion with you. Believe me, I know. And uh, you take it to those guys and. You spend sixty thousand, they offer you five, five, ten thousand max. That's not how you want to do business. Not at all. I think we're in business to make money. Maximize you understand? Profits, and, yeah. uh, and we, we, we need, we need to, we need to. Which is one of the reasons why we're starting this guild. We need to start an army that will come together and begin to put things in place. Because if they, if that is not done. Hmm. All of us, I probably go back to the work I used to do before I came okay. to do movie full time, and I don't want to do that. I hate that job. Right. So <laughs> now, uh, um, you know, you've been privileged to have worked with some phenomenal actors and actresses. Uh, Desmond Elliott, of course, whom we're expecting tonight. Uh, Ramsey Noah, Chet Anikwe, and of course, down here in Atlanta, there's the likes of Divine Shaw and the rest of them. Um, I'm sorry, yeah, you're always busy like that, but. Um, Working with these seasoned actors from Africa and right? those that you're grooming here, uh, what is the fine line and uh, what, how far do you think our seasoned actors have come as far as influencing those of us that are, you know what I mean, on the ladder going up? Yeah, the influence, uh, yeah, the influence is not really too much. And some of those guys, they come with, they come with uh, chip on their shoulder. Not any of these ones that you mentioned, actually. Right, right. Not any of these guys. Uh, Rams is a fine gentleman. Chet is awesome. I know, I uh, yeah, I had to play Chet with one actress that was... Uh, Jesus. And uh, with one actor that was... Um, so are you saying that working, uh, playing alongside uh, uh, inexperienced one with experienced ones, are you having problems with that or? No, it depends on it depends on the experienced actor. Okay. Some experienced actor, they come on set and they look at the larger picture. Mm -hmm. They try to take the the new actor along. Okay. They make acting is just is acting is just a scenario. That's how I describe it. It's just, it's just, it's like, it's like an aura that you push into. There's a way I relate to you on set, and that will improve your acting mm -hmm. if you look up to me. Yeah. There's a way I relate to you that that will make you look, and there's a way I can come on set and I'll try to intimidate you. And some of those stars that come from Africa, they do that. And if you find out, most of those guys, they are all about their money. When they are leaving Africa to come here, they start talking about all the monies they will make here. You understand? But there's those core professionals. I spoke with Mr. Ramsey you know, the other day, and he told me, say, man, Robert, I'm tired of just doing any movie. I really don't want to do any movie. I just want to, I just want to leave a legacy. You understand? So those are the kind, those are the core professional. Right. It's not all about money. Mm -hmm. It's what is what what would the people will think of you when mm -hmm. they go to watch you in right. that large screen or that video at mm -hmm. home. You understand? Mm -hmm. So those like here in Atlanta, let me speak for my actors here in Atlanta. They they I try to make them, I try to talk them into watching films across the spectrum when i mean across from africa take some experience yeah american they should just watch and let themselves go there's a very thin line between ua and oa mm -hmm. and that is a that thin line is called a 
OA is overacting, UA is underacting. Under so acting, you have to walk that thin line. And they're beginning to understand and beginning to let them know that they need to go deep down inside. I always use uh, Sierra Law as an example because I work with her. Sierra, before every take, Sierra will say, Robert or Desmond, can you please give me, can you please give me five minutes, please? And I, most I can with her five minutes, she goes into a cool corner and try to get in. That works for her. There's some of us that as soon as we say action, we're there. You understand? But that's how she works. And some of us need to go deep down inside and find out what works for us. Because at the end of the day, it's towards the larger picture. Okay. You understand? Right. Being a good actor and generally fulfilling that part of yours that is to make a good movie Absolutely. like me as a filmmaker i always tell my wife i don't want to make a boring movie <laughs> i want to get her next to us in a minute but i want to ask you one final thing now how are your movies doing in the market uh what are your concerns uh, about distribution and marketing because we're having yet again several other issues where like you said the film ends when it's premiered and that's the end of it nobody gets to see them on dvds or anything mm -hmm. How well are your films doing out there? I had two films that are going into the market. And, uh, uh, the, the marketers, he's quite optimistic about how it will do. Right. He's actually he actually told me that people are waiting for it. Okay. And uh, I have two other jobs that we just did the premiere. The premiere, the, the response was very good. Okay. One of them is actually going to go to the cinema. It's going to do a run at the cinema in Nigeria. Okay. I have another one that I'm working in presently. I, I should be done by Tuesday. That one is going to the Pan African Film Festival. Okay. It's going to do a run at the, at the cinema in Nigeria. You understand? Yeah, we're pushing off our limit, but believe me, it's not easy. You understand? I pity all the filmmakers in America. You understand? I do. Because if we continue like this, some of them, they tell you, if you use a big star, they will say, oh, you paid him too much, you spent too much. If you don't use Isn't a big star... It's not always the case. Yeah. They, they have high they, demand. Yeah, if you don't use a big star, they say, oh, you don't have it's a big star, your movie is not going to sell. Yeah. But this time around... My next movie, I don't have the traditional right. African style. I'm using my own people, people that know that can deliver a very good story, people that can deliver very good acting, people that can help me tell my story. Okay. You understand? Those are the people I'm going to go Absolutely. for as for well now. I am beginning to want pull away from that name, the yeah, name the brand, bring it. this thing. And believe me, the guys that I'm using locally, I'm paying them close to what I'll pay a star if I right. bring him from Africa. Absolutely. But I'm just trying to break that norm and find out that one day Paul Ashati can sell a movie for me. Right. It just depends on me and him working together. You understand? Me and him working together and being the, the uh, uh, s s s stepping up to the plate and put our A game up Absolutely. there. You understand? And uh, We'll do it. We'll make it happen. I, I, I always tell myself, you're not just another filmmaker. You're a revolutionary. You understand? And revolutionary, they change things. And uh, that is what I'm seriously working towards. Changing things. Changing, changing things. I don't want to do things. I'm, I get sick and tired of the way things are yeah. done most of the time. And, and I just want to get to that place where we'll just turn everything around and take this thing to another level. Like I said earlier on, the difference between a typical a movie by a bright Nigerian director and a Hollywood